Today is my birthday, and so we are off to see the manager. So we are off to Barcelona. The manager's from Barcelona? No, 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 he's from Swanage. In which case, I guess we're off to Swanage. Bye, boss. Bye, boss. Bye, boss. Bye, boss. So, how easy is it for us to get to Swanage? Bus. We're taking a bus. Well, we've already taken one bus. We had to take the M2 to get from Westport to Poole. Yeah, uh, because Poole bus station, stand H, is where the perfect freezer number 50 departs from. And where does the perfect freezer number 50 take us? Spanish. Via Wareham and Corfe and Langton and all that lot. Are you excited? I'm excited. Total carnage. Total carnage. Unspecified carnage, obviously. Not I feel like the 130 Perfect Breezer number 40 service from Poole to Swanage is going to be a little busy. I mean, there is a big pile of people behind us all waiting to board the service. It's going to be a party bus. So we've uh, boarded the number 40 at the bus station. So we have. What does the future hold for us? Yes, yes, it is. It's a good job that there is, in fact, a windscreen available to protect the people. One of the things we've noticed about the number 40 perfect breezer service from Paul to Swanage is that it does pass through a few lightly coppiced areas where the canopy of the tree is somewhat in the road and uh, it does kind of brush against the bus ever so slightly, making a mildly disturbing noise, wouldn't you say? Not only mildly disturbing, only like the sounds of things crashing against the uh, glass as if they might smash through and kill us all, but it's not too bothersome, is it? No. I don't know. Not at all. Well, we've made it as far as Santa and things are going well. We haven't been hit in the face by any branches yet, nor do we expect to be. Here we are in Langton. We're looking out for Waterwick, but uh, we haven't seen him yet. It's possible he doesn't live in Langton anymore, but I've not had any uh, news to suggest that's the case. Uh, Dave, maybe let me know. That's a mean thing, so that's, that should be no problem. We get up there early Monday, but I suggest if we start early Monday, say half six, something like that, and then that gave us plenty of time to dig it, so that'd be no problem if we did that one on Monday. Swanage <laughs> Dorset. You will never find the more wretched hive of scum and villainy. We must be cautious. Truly is absolute carnage of the unspecified kind here in Swanage. And uh, behind me we can also see people setting up ready for... Fish Fest 2018. Now, if there's one thing you see when you come to Swanage, it should be Fish Fest 2018. It is absolutely unmissable. I don't plan to see it, but you really should. Face. Face. Nothing says I came to Swanage and bought you a gift like buying someone a gift and telling him you bought it for them in Swanage. So do consider doing that. If you come to Swanage, maybe buy some shells. Everyone likes shells. And now, the real reason everyone comes to Swanage. To go to Bunchens to buy ice cream. But what kind of ice cream shall we get? So, uh, mate, what is the official ice cream of Swanage? Banana, obviously. Cornetto. Cornetto is Swanage's official ice cream, and you can't really come to Swanage and not have a lick of a Cornetto. But you have to be careful, of course, that you don't get misconstrued by the local old ladies when uh, having a lick of a Cornetto. Wouldn't you agree? I do agree. Mm. Well, let's have our Cornettos and eat them.
Seaside. As doors at doors and regulation state that one is not allowed to spend more than two hours at a time in the Seaside Town. We are returning via the perfect route to number 50 service to Bournemouth. <laughs> Thank you for watching and there's very little more for me to say other than well goodbye.